Right, good evening, everybody. And um, yeah, my, my name is Rene, and as you can hear from my accent, I'm not from the Highlands. I'm not even from the Lowlands. I'm actually from a country that's below sea level, uh, Holland. And um, I moved to Scotland back in 1999 and started a hotel business. Um, tonight, just before we have dinner, um, they are, uh, the Forestry Commission asked me to do a little bit of, uh, of, an exper of, of my experience, what I've sort of done over the past eight years in, in Scotland in tourism, and a little bit about my background in retail in, in Holland. And um, I'm glad they did, because I'm passionate about uh, customer service, um, delivering and, and receiving. A few things. Um, I worked for a department store for a department store in Holland, and by the way, this is new to me, so I might make some mistakes with that. But bear with me; I hope it, I hope it works. Um, I worked in retail in Holland for 14 years. I've been manager of a, of a department store uh, compared to Marks and Spencers um, in Holland. We call it a HEMA, and I'm not sure who, who's been to Holland. One, two, three, four, five. You like it? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you enjoy Amsterdam? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm from Amsterdam, so... I'm never thinking about it in Denmark. Oh, Denmark, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people make that mistake, yeah, I must say. Uh, there's not, not a lot of difference. Um, but the HEMA is, is like I said, it's a, it's a department store, and I, I used to work there. Uh, I started there as a junior manager, worked me up as, as, as senior manager, and in the end I was the manager of, of the whole shop. We had about 50 staff members, uh, had a great time because 48 staff members were female. It was very female orientated and had a fantastic time up there. But also a very steep learning curve, I must say, um, because I just came from, from, from high school, 19, 20 I was, and then working with 48 females in the shop is quite a challenge sometimes. You learn a lot. Um, I, I picked this from the internet. Is there also a, a laser gun on it? Yes, it will. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I took this from the internet, and what I liked here, this company has a sense of humor, which, which I liked, and that's why I put it up. And I think that's very important in, in, in our daily job as, as managers, uh, trying to deliver excellent customer service. And I will come back to that as well. But the sense of humor is, I would say, essential to be uh, a good manager. Uh, I'm not going to um, preach or something. This is just a relaxed session about what I did my experiences, and I hope you enjoy it. The next bit, um, after doing that for 14 years, um, I decided on, on a life-changing experience. I wanted to do something else than, uh, than retail. And we moved to Scotland to start a hotel business. We bought an old Victorian villa, this one. And it was a house when we bought it. We converted it into, into a hotel within six months. And we opened up as a three-star hotel with six bedrooms. And I sold it two years ago as a four-star hotel with 10 bedrooms. And again, I have a lot of experience with um, dealing with, with front of house um, and with customer. It was, it was a great experience. And I'm still looking back with, with lots of joy to that. Um, again, this, I took this off the, off the internet, TripAdvisor. Some of you might, might know it. This hotel is owned by Dutch couple, and it just can't do enough for you. That's what I like to see, that's why I put it up, and uh, we won the excellent customer service award in 2005, which we were very happy about because it wasn't because of us, it was because of the team. The team won it, actually, uh, the, the award. It works. Like I said, I'm passionate about um, delivering and receiving excellent customer service, um, and I'll, I'll, in the next couple of slides, I actually have only eight slides, so it's, it's not going to be a long um, discussion uh, or a long sit, um, eight slides, and uh, after that we can have a little bit of a discussion if you like. But um, we, all, we all know this, what, 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 I don't need to repeat it, a customer in a restaurant want more than just a meal. If you're going to a restaurant, um, you're going for the atmosphere, for the ambience, the, the, you know the manager, you might know the waitress. Um, it's not just for the food, you're going there for, for the whole sort of package. Uh, and sometimes it's different. Sometimes you want to go for a quick lunch, 12 o'clock, you want to be out at one o'clock, so you, 
you go to that restaurant. And sometimes you go for uh, for a, week, a nice weekend out with your with your partner, wife, or or lover. Um, and then you're looking for something else. Uh, so customers looking at different times, at different moments for, for different things. Same with, with guests in a hotel. Um, they want more than just, just a room. Um, sometimes you, you're in business and it's okay to go to the, to the Fissler Hotel here where it's an, a good business hotel. But sometimes you want to go to, for an, again, a nice weekend out with your partner, and then you're looking for something completely different, with, which is more romantic. Um, the customers also want more than just a product or the service. It's, it's um, funny enough, they, they also want to be treated well. And I put it here, it's, that should be the norm anyway, but sometimes, um, when we go to places, we all, have the, we, we all have the same sort of stories. When you go to a restaurant or a hotel or a shop, sometimes you go out and you think, oh, that, that, was, that was horrible. And sometimes you go out and you think, yeah, that, that was great. But when you think about it, and I I've, I've have the same, when you, when you receive excellent customer service, you think, yeah, that, that, was, that was fantastic. But actually, when you think about it, should, shouldn't that be the norm? If you buy something, if, if, you, if you're eating somewhere, or if you book a room somewhere, the least you can expect uh, is, is that someone makes, a, makes an effort in treating you. And um, there is a difference between, I feel, excellent service and going to brilliant service by doing one step further, uh, something that people don't expect. Um, and that's the difference between service, good service, excellent service, and, and brilliant service. And I think aiming for brilliant service is if that is in your mind, um, that should also be in the mind of your team. And my next slide will we'll talk about that. It's also that's what, what separates your business from the competition. Uh, again, going back to the, to the shop when I worked in, in Holland, to my team I said the same thing. People can buy socks everywhere. They can buy it here. They can buy it in a shop across the road, at the end of the, of the road, they can buy it in another town. Why would they buy it here? In, in the old days, in, well, 1950s or so, um, it was very price driven. People went to the shop where they could buy it the cheapest. But that has changed. People are more mobile. Um, they want something else than, than just the cheapest price. And you can differentiate between you and your, your competition or other businesses by offering brilliant or excellent service. And that's the way to get people back. And I know you all know these things, but sometimes it's good to, to hear it again. And like I said there, it's the oldest trick in the book. Then why is it sometimes so, so, difficult, so, di so difficult? And I always feel offering excellent or brilliant service is, is a mindset. It's a mindset, especially from, from the management. When I go to hotels, restaurants, and it happens often where you think the staff is just not interested, it's not focused on the customer, on delivering service. I'm not blaming, blaming that person, I'm actually blaming the management, because if the management, obviously in cases like that, doesn't find it important to invest in, in a, getting the right people on board, invest in them by, by, by training, um, lead by example, etc. That, that's what it's all about. If, if we as managers, oh, can I laser him? He's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> probably blind by now. <laughs> if we um, as management have the right mindset, and I'm sure we all have here, then we should be able to, to bring that on to, the, to, to our team as well. 